Hi, I'm Richard Shaw with Utica City FC and this is Soccer Talk. In this episode, we're going to be discussing some basic tactics that you, the fans, can expect in the MASL. Let's get into it. When it comes to the MASL, tactics are a massive part of being successful. And the first one we're going to break down is the rotation of players. So when it comes to switching players in and out of the game during play, this is done on the fly. And any breakdown in communication or poor timing can result in your team being exposed and outnumbered, which can often result in giving up a goal. The next tactic we're going to talk about is how teams will primarily use a possession-based approach when attacking and the goalkeeper will be utilised as a support player throughout the game to help build attacks and start from the defensive end of the field. As this happens, players will try and work the ball up the field with lots of quick passing, movement and interchanging. Then, as they get closer to the goal, you will see extremely fast ball movement as players work hard to find themselves enough space to quickly fire a shot at goal. Additionally, when players are dribbling in wide areas in the attacking third, a common strategy is to play the ball off the boards so it ricochets in front of the goal and creates a good scoring opportunity for their teammates. This is often a difficult approach to defend as the ball can often bounce unpredictably based on the power and the angle that the ball is played. Another important tactic is when teams utilise a strong forward player as a target man to launch a quick counter attack. So instead of building out of the back with short passes, they will instead play a long, quick, direct pass into the feet of this target player who has their back to the opponent's goal. This player then holds the ball up, keeping the ball at the feet as their teammates look to make runs in behind to get into a good position to receive a pass and try and create a goal scoring opportunity. Finally, the sixth attacker. This tactic is often used when teams are chasing a game. For example, teams will sometimes sub out their goalkeeper and put in an outfield player to increase their attacking potential. This happens often when a team is losing and there are only a couple minutes left in the game and they are desperately trying to score an equaliser. The fun part of this is when using a six attacker, teams leave their goal empty and exposed, which often means any mistake can be immediately punished with a shot from anywhere on the field. So as you can see, there are a lot of different tactics that can be utilised in this game and we only just covered a few of them. A keen eye will see a lot more and that will be up to you, the fans, when you come and watch the games to see these things in play. With that said, I'm Richard Shaw, this was Soccer Talk. Please join us on social media at Utica City FC. Goodbye for now. <laughs>